Now at 5 and streaming on CBSN Los Angeles. A quiet Huntington Beach neighborhood rocked by a deadly shooting. Neighbors left shocked as investigators searched for answers. And good Saturday evening, everyone. I'm Chris Holmstrom. And I'm Rachel Kim. Sky 2 live over the scene right now where there is a still heavy police presence. Tonight, we know four people were shot. Yeah, take a look. What we know right now is at least one of those four have died. Definitely an ongoing investigation. This deadly shooting right now in Huntington Beach. We'll be sure to bring you more information. But the big question is what led to this deadly violence? Right. CBS News Hermela Aragawi is live now in Huntington Beach with more on this investigation. Hermela. Hi, Rachel and Chris. Yes, we do have some details about the motive. I'll get to that in just a minute. The shooting was called in around 11 this morning, and about six hours later, there's still pretty uh, heavy police presence. Let me step out of the way so that you can see. About two blocks are taped off here in the house, and question is two blocks away. Police tell us they do have a little bit of an indication what the motive would be. Is uh, they say this is a longtime family dispute over property. This morning, some realtors came in to see the home, and that is when the shooting happened, leaving one man dead. A family dispute turns deadly in Huntington Beach, where police say one man is dead and three others are injured after a shooting on the 4500 block of Operetta Drive. Uh, this appears to be an ongoing family dispute over a, a, a property. What we believe happened is some real estate professionals came uh, to take a look at the residence, and at which point the shooting occurred. Police say they got a call about a shooting at the residence just before 11 Saturday morning. They won't say if the man killed was a family member or a real estate professional that came to look at the home. However, they did tell us they believe one of the three people shot may be a suspect, so they had to be careful in their response and investigation. It required our officers to conduct rescues of the victims uh, because of uh, the likelihood that this was an evolving dynamic situation with an individual possibly inside the residence shooting out. The SWAT team and Huntington Beach police officers were on the scene for hours, making sure there weren't other shooters and that the neighborhood was safe. Kendra Gomez was stuck outside of her house during the investigation. We are obviously concerned because we have a three month old son. Um, and it's so close to home. Mark Hartstein works with a local nonprofit and frequents the neighborhood to collect donations. He said he was at the home in question yesterday, but a man inside yelled at him to go away. If someone says go away, I don't want anything or buy, I leave. You know, that's what he did. Hartson was back in the neighborhood around the time of the shooting and saw some of the victims being taken out on stretchers. One was on the stretcher and he looked like he was bleeding pretty bad. The SWAT team had gone in the van and brought one back. Loaded him on the stretcher, and then went and got another one and brought him back and loaded him on the stretcher. Again, four people were shot. One of them was killed. The other three were injured, and police say they are expected to survive their injuries. And at this point, they do believe one of the three survivors is a suspect. For now, live in Huntington Beach, Hermela Aragawi, CBS 2 News. Hermela, thank you. We will, of course, continue to follow this story, and we'll have.